Hey, what's happening, guys? We are back, and today we are working on section B. And for those of you who don't know, this is a multimeter kit made by a company called Alenco, and it is the M2 triple six K multimeter. We're building it here. Once it's done, it will be a fully functional multimeter that I am going to give away to one of you. I'll even autograph it for you. <laughs> like anybody want that. Um, so today we're going to be working on some components here on the front side of the board and up here as well. I've got our components rolled out. We've got lots of resistors. We've got a couple diodes. We've got a pot. We've got our current shunt. And we've got some fuses. So I am going to get started in this. And towards the end, I'll tell you how you can win this if you're interested. So we're going to get started. More manual right here with these two diodes. And you can see diodes, of course, are polarized. And you can see right there the... Uh, the way they're showing you to do it. These are going to stand on end like resistors. Just like this. Mounted with the band shown on top. Oh yeah, here we go. Band shown on top. So, empty side down on the arrow. The band goes to the other side. So here are diodes, they are 1N4001 standard rectifier diodes. Diodes tend to have a much heavier set of leads on them, so we got to be careful how we do this and get them through the holes. Now I'm going to cut some of this off because it's just not necessary and it'll be easier to do it like this so one diode goes in that way Let's straighten this one out <laughs> something just fell and one diode goes in this way like so I'll put a little bit of blue tack here to hold them flip that over and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to solder one of each of them then we can straighten them out make sure they're sitting pretty so next saturday is my son's graduation party man That is really hard for me to believe. I can remember when he was born. So, any extra money I make this summer is going to be to go towards buying him a Apple MacBook, which is what he wants to take to college with him. And I want him to have the best possible opportunity to succeed so I am definitely going to be picking up a MacBook for him um, it's the MacBook Air I think is the one he wants so that's our summer plan oops sorry bumped the camera trying to give you guys a good look at where we're working but that requires keeping the camera pretty close all right next we are up to R19 which is a 900 ohm resistor R19, where does it go? Right there. 
So we'll be doing like we did in the last video, and like you just saw there with the diodes. We're just going to take our resistor, straightening out the leads. The resistor itself goes into the part with the weight, like so. And what did I do with my blue tack? There it is. So I will solder this guy in, and then we'll do a little high speed thing so you're not going to have to watch me solder all these up. I'm just giving you kind of a an idea how we do it. All right, I'll be back when I have them soldered. All right, I've got that side done. You can see we put in the two diodes, some resistors here, resistors here, pot here. And our next step is to put in the shunt. So this section that we're working on here is the DC voltage and current input. Right here, R23 is where the shunt goes. Pardon the bumpiness. So it sits in there like so. Are you going to be tricky? This is fun. Okay, so there we go. We got our shunt in. Now, the shunt, according to the instructions, should be a quarter inch off the board. And later, we will have to adjust that to make it read correctly. So, quarter inch off the board. This is a quarter inch. So if I stick this guy in here like so, uh oh, <laughs> that doesn't want to do it. Okay, get in there. Here's what we'll do. Man. This is, this is what I call fiddly. You can put some of that there like so. You can put some of this here like so. You know, if it weren't for Uncle Rob, I wouldn't even know about the blue tack. And if it weren't for Uncle Rob, I wouldn't know about this lovely multimeter. Uncle Rob sent me this multimeter. Yeah, it's going to take a minute. There we go. Make sure I got enough on there for a good joint. All right, we'll turn it back over. Get our blue tack off of here. Can we get our quarter inch? Yeah, it makes it a little tight. But we're gonna have to adjust it, like I said, one way or another anyway. So, it's in there pretty good. Now I'm going to do up this section right here, starting with resistor number 10, resistor number 10, 
is a 2.25 mega ohm half a percent quarter watt resistor. So to do it, I just go like this, straighten out the legs as best you can. Bend it over so that the leg you bend over is pretty much parallel. Nip off the excess. And there's number 10. Number 11, same value. Get them in there like so. I'm gonna do the whole thing. You ain't gotta watch it though. Okay, we got almost all these soldered in. What I want to show you here is this is really tight. So be careful if you're soldering these that you don't end up with any shorts. What's called a solder bridge where you take the solder from one pin and accidentally move it to another. Just something to keep in mind as you're going through these. That's all. Okay. So we've got everything done in section B, except the fuse clips. We're going to do that next. One thing I noticed while working on this, when you're flipping this around, this 9-volt battery cable, you can easily, look right there, you got solder on there? You could easily whack it with your soldering iron, and that would be a bad thing. All right, so now we're on to the clips. Bottom side. And they should go through there. So I'll get them out of the bag here. And they go like a so. One there. I get them in properly. There we go, like that. Make sure. Yeah, that looks about right. T law, right? That looks about right. Now, generally, on something like this, I would put the fuse in there to solder. That way, everything's in place. But I'm just going to follow their instructions. I'm not going to put the fuse in. Because I'm making this video kind of as a way to help other people who might want to build one of these, you know. Make sure the entire pad is covered. Oh, see, that's what I was afraid of. Dag nabbit. Okay. Now, that might, you know, upset you, make you think, well, you know, what can I do now? Don't worry about it. It's not that bad. It's an easy fix. There's 10,000 things you can do to fix that. The easiest is a simple solder sucker. Dr. Quincy, I'm not using the you-know-what because most people don't have one. And I am trying... to be a man of the people as I build this stuff. Just know that I have it and I love it. Okay, so it's this one here. It's going to heat the solder up. Sucker in there. And it might take a couple, a couple shots. But it's okay, don't worry. Because now we have our hole back. And everything 
is copacetic. So we can put our fuse clip back in. This time I will give it a little more oomph when it's holding power there. Like so. I'm going to come back and we'll get this one. Come back and do this one. Yeah, I'm kind of jumping around here. I want to make sure everything goes well. Um, these fuse clips are really, really chintzy. But you're not going to be measuring high current with this. Okay? Promise me you're not going to measure high current with this. This is, this is the basement experimenters multimeter. Okay? Don't put current through this guy. It's going to go well. Now we have to put in our fuse. Now it's in there. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big fan, but it's in there. And that is going to conclude part two or part B or whatever you want to call it of the Elenco M2666K digital multimeter kit build. And once again, when this is done, I'm going to give away the completed multimeter with or without my autograph. That's your choice. I know I wouldn't want it. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully this video will serve as a documentation. People wanting to build one of these. If you want to win the multimeter, just send me an email to arduino0169 at gmail.com. Make sure you're a subscriber. We don't give things away to people who don't subscribe. I mean, it's free to subscribe. Just click the button. And uh, this could be yours. All right? Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to the patrons. Big thanks to Uncle Rob. That's it. I'm out. Peace.